Let's see. Five, see. four, three, two, one. one. Is that on the bottom? Hello, everybody. Hi. This is the Jeff and Donna Karaoke Show. I'm Smiling Jeff, and this is Donna Luscious Lips Anderson. And for the next uh, 36 or so minutes, we're going to be singing some songs. And we're going to start out with one of Donna's favorites. It's an Alan Jackson song called Remember When. I like the song, but I don't like the way we sing it. Why not? We're not very good at it. Well, what songs are we good at? Well, you've got a point there. You think the music's loud enough?
I bet that song was a lot longer than that. Well, we, two or three people really liked that song. Maybe we sang faster. Maybe we did. Okay, the other day we had a comment and somebody said they admired the guts we had to make fools of ourselves <laughs> So uh, every week. So we're going to do three songs with the word fool in it. <laughs> Is this yours or mine or ours? Well, this first one is yours, I believe. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't can't find the right button. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes. Song to you sing. sure do. Can I have a little drink of my tea? Yeah, have yourself. This is a Ricky Nelson one. I've never done this one before.
Okay, now we got a one we're going to do together. This is our last uh, fool Oops. song. <laughs> a little Frankie Lyman. How many else is watching? I can't see. Okay, you ready? You do it. Bop a doom, bop a doom, bop a do do do. Ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah. Why do fools fall in love? Why do girls sing so gay? And lovers await the break of day. Why do they fall in love? Why does the rain fall from up above? Why do fools fall in love? Why do they fall in love? Love is a losing game. Love can be a shame. I know I'm a fool you see, for that fool is me, tell me why, oh why, tell me why. Sounds like Gene Harlan on the saxophone. This is a, uh, what's her name song? I can't remember her name. She was married to Ralph Emery. Somebody help me out there. Skeeter Davis. You're welcome, Gail. Uh-huh, uh-huh, gonna get along without 
I couldn't remember Skeeter Davis's name. <laughs> Here's a real song, sad song that's yes. written by Bobby Goldsboro. But I like it. I don't sing it very well, but I, I really like to sing it. I like it. That song was a little loud. Okay, here's a theme song for the year 2020. Take your 
looks like we're in for nasty weather. One eye is taken for an eye. Well, don't go around tonight. It's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Don't come around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. Hi, Gail. Thanks for the dipstick comment. <laughs> Shame on you. Okay, here's another bad song. Well, the south side of Chicago is the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown. Now, now Leroy's only trouble is she seems to stand about six foot four. All those downtown ladies call him treetop lover, all the men just call him sir. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town, badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Now Leroy, he's a gambler, and he likes his fancy clothes, and he likes to wear his diamond rings under everybody's nose. He's got a custom Continental, he got an Eldorado too. He got a 32 gun in his pocket for fun. He's got a razor in his shoe. Bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town, badder than old King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog. When Friday, not a weekday goes, a Leroy shooting dice. At the end of a bar sat a girl named Dora saying, ooh, that girl looked nice. Well, he cast his eyes upon her. And the trouble soon began. A Leroy Brown, he learned his lesson about a messing with the wife of a jealous man. And he's a bad, bad Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. Well, those two men took to fighting, and when they pulled him from the floor, a Leroy looked like a jigsaw puzzle with a couple of pieces gone. And he's bad, bad Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. And he's bad, bad Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong. Junkyard dog. Yeah, he was badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Uh -huh. He was really bad. Oh, I hope you're up next. Oh no, we gotta take a break. What? Oh, it's Jeff's favorite song to sing. What did you take a break for? Well, I got a tickle in my throat. Oh, Razor and Rebecca, how you doing, people? Beautiful weather we've been having the last couple of days. Thank you, and I was so glad to get my air conditioner off. <clears throat> Did you shut me off, too? No. Oh, what? I can still talk. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here he goes. Then here's one I'm... <laughs> here's one i got to do every so often to kind of keep in practice. It's kind of a hard one. And you do it all. No, I just do the easy parts. No, you do the all of it tonight. <laughs> I'll let Mary uh, Morgan do the hard parts. <laughs> Come on, you're not singing it. There was a boy from Arkansas who wouldn't listen to his mom when she told him he should go to school. Uh -huh. He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon he'd find them at the local auction bar. Now 35 
Time went on, he did his best in all we see. He did the jest, he practiced the color of his coat night and day. His pap would find him behind the barn, just working up an awful storm as he tried to imitate the auctioneer. His pap said, son, we just can't stand to have a mediocre man who still takes an auction, using our good day. I'll send you off to auction school, and you'll be nobody's fool, and you can take your place among the best. $35 bid now, $40 per auction, $40 bid, $40. Who would give me a $40 bid? $40 bid now, $45, give me $45, make $45, give it a $45 bid. Who would it be? And a $45 bid. So from that boy who went to school, there grew a man who played it cool. He came back home. The people gave from miles around just to hear him make that rhythmic sound that filled their hearts with such a happy cheer. His fame spread out from shore to shore. He had all he could do it for. Buy a plane to get around. Now he stops in all the land. Let's pause to give that man a hand. He's the best of all the auctioneers. Forty-five dollar bid now. Fifty dollars, fifty dollars, fifty dollars, fifty dollars. Who will give me a fifty dollar bid? I sold that hog for a fifty dollar bid. Hey, roll right, sir, open the gate, let him out, and walk him in, boys. Here we come a lot number twenty-nine. Uh, what are you gonna give me for him? I'm a bit of twenty-five, will you give me thirty? Anyway, that was Leroy Van Dyke's The Auctioneer. That's a fast singing song. Yeah, it kinda makes me sweat. <laughs> Now what? I don't know. Oh, you got a song. This what? is a Connie Smith song. It is? I think maybe it was written by Bill Anderson. I know he wrote a lot of her songs. That's well, you, my list. That's your list. Where's mine? Mine's right there. How come you got that broke? You took another break? No. Well, how come it went to that thing? When you found some. I beg your pardon. That's what, what, you, what happened? That went on so fast. I know it. Do we know this song? Uh, a little bit. Well, that's nice that you put it on. Is this Elvis' song? Well, this is not. This is a Waylon Jennings song, but uh, I guess evidently Elvis recorded it because it said this was his version of that song. Okay, well, we're down to two. You're scaring people away. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> 
think this is your song. Huh? Okay, here's a little Waylon Jennings. I've never sang this one before. That's, That's what, what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me. Everything we had is gone, and you can see. That's what you get for loving me. Now don't you shed a tear for me. I ain't the love you thought I'd be. I've had a hundred just like you, but don't be blue. I'll have a thousand for I'm through. That's what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me. Everything we had is gone, and you can see. That's what you get for loving me. Now there you go, you're crying again. 